If you have everything outlined in black Sharpie, you're ready to start coloring in. We're going to be coloring in using crayon. Make sure you're using crayon because if we use anything else, when we use watercolor later, it's not going to work. So make sure you're using crayon to color in. For our water background, we're going to be using blue watercolor. Because we used crayon, we can go on top of the crayon with the watercolor and it won't mix in with the crayon. You still wanna be careful if you left some white spaces that you want to leave white. But if you get a little bit of your watercolor on the crayon, it'll still be okay. And this is because the wax from the crayon pushes away the water from the watercolor. If it's staying on top of your crayon, that might mean that you didn't use enough water and you may want to use some more. You can also grab a paper towel and dab up any of that watercolor that you don't want in that area. If you outlined with black marker and not with a black Sharpie, don't use watercolor because the water is going to spread that black marker out. So if you used anything other than a Sharpie, just color in your background with crayon, colored pencil, or marker. <laughs> 